Just 50 kilometers northwest of Johannesburg, in South Africa, is the cradle of humankind, a world heritage site regarded as the birthplace of man. This area has mysteriously revealed an astonishing 40% of the world's human ancestor fossils. We've actually shown the world a new species many, many times over. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a new species of human ancestor, Homo naledi. Over 1,500 fossils were retrieved between 2013 and 2017's excavation seasons. So within one site, we found more fossils than we tend to find in years, and that was extraordinary. The collection of fossils discovered was named Homo naledi, a species of archaic human, and it put South Africa firmly on the map. Homo naledi coexisted at the same time as our own species. Homo naledi is actually really young. Um, it's only between 336 to about 236,000 years old. The 53,000 hectares includes a dozen dolomite limestone caves, which began life as coral reefs in a shallow, warm sea about 2.3 billion years ago. So the cradle of humankind is regarded as one of the most important fossil areas purely because of the number of discoveries that have taken place here. It all began in 1924 when a fossil was found by quarrymen. Puncture marks in its eyes show it was likely killed by an eagle and had been around three years old. Was it a hominin? So this was the first one ever found in Africa and the science world said, no, this, this can't be a hominin, this must be a small monkey of sorts. A year later, groundbreaking news. It was recognized as an important new species of hominin and became known as the Taung child. Then, 23 years later, fossils of a very old lady made their appearance. Mrs. Pless was discovered and that is the adult Australopithecus africanus that helped us to realize that this is actually a, a hominin from South Africa. In the late 1990s, scientists revealed they had found Littlefoot. At 3.67 million years old, it was the oldest fossil in the cradle. It's little wonder that the cradle of humankind is now acknowledged as one of the most fascinating sites on Earth. It gives us just new hope in our endeavor to understand who we are and where we come from and why we're here. Um, and I think that's, that's the mystery of the cradle. It's a mystery that keeps on giving. Catch brand new mystery shows all this month on the History Channel.